Warm wishes to one and all. Myself, my name is Sai Kiran. I am a Max faculty in Veramal IT Foundation. Today's our topic is trigonometric ratios of different angles. How we can find the trigonometric ratio of a different angle and that is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Now we want to discuss trigonometric ratios of angle 30 degrees and 60 degrees. How we can find? First, we need to take a equilateral triangle equilateral triangle when you take a equilateral triangle all sides must be equal that means this is x this side length is x means this side length also x this total length also x okay you can take a median or angle of bisector or altitude of any one of the vertex from any one of the vertex and take a altitude okay whenever nothing but in equilateral triangle altitude and median and everything will be same only okay it will be perpendicular bisector to the base perpendicular bisector means it divide into two equal parts and making an angle is 90 degrees it divide into two equal parts and making an angle is 90 degrees okay for example here abc is a equilateral triangle ad is perpendicular bisector of BC you can take okay once of the whenever it divide into two equal part means total length is a x means this part become x by 2 and this part become x by 2 we know already in a in a equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degrees this is 60 degrees this is 60 degrees and complete angle a also 60 degrees whenever we are taking the perpendicular bisector or angular bisector median of or altitude of a equilateral triangle is seen then whenever it is nothing but perpendicular bisector it is nothing but angular bisector then it divide into 30 degrees and this is also 30 degrees okay. from this tri triangle you can take any one of the part for example i'll take either abd or ac i'll take any one of the part i'll take one part this is A, this is T, this is P. Okay, here it is 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees and here it is 30 degrees. We know this length is X and this is X by Once of the ABD is a right angle triangle. ABD is a right angle triangle. We can apply Pythagoras theorem. When you apply Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABD by Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem okay hypotenuse square AB square is equal to side square plus side square that means x square is equal to x square by 4 okay x by 2 whole square means x square by 4 plus AD square we want AD square x square by 4 will send to this side and simplify then what you are getting ad square is equal to x square minus x square by 4 when you simplify this one then what you are getting ad square is equal to 3 x square by 4 we want ad value what is ad means square root of 3 x square by 4 when you simplify this one means root 3 x by 2 ad value how much we are getting root 3 x by 2 okay we got it ad value root 3 x by 2 okay we know the right angle triangle we know 30 degrees and 60 degrees we want to find the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees okay we know sin theta sin theta is equal to what is that means Opposite by hypotenuse. Sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. In the same way, we want sin 30. That means angle at 30 here. Okay, whenever angle at here, this is opposite. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. Then sin 30. Z, sorry. Sin 30 degrees is equal to. What we can write? 
opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite means? x by 2 by hypotenuse is x. When you simplify this one, what you are getting means 1 by 2 you can get. That is sin 30 value is 1 by 2. In the same way, cos 30 value. Cos 30. Cos 30 means same. Angle at here, adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is adjacent here? Root 3 x by 2 by x. Can you simplify this one? Root 3 by 2. That means uh, cos 30 value is root 3 by 2. In the same way tan 30. Tan 30 means what you can write? Opposite, sorry, opposite by adjacent. Opposite by adjacent. x by 2 by root 3 x by 2. When you simplify this one, what you are getting? Uh, 1 by root 3. Similarly, tan 30, cot 30, next secant 30, cosecant 30. In the same way, sin 60 value we want. Sin 60, angle at 60 degree. This is at 60 means uh, then this will become opposite and this will become adjacent. This will become hypotenuse. Sin 60, what is 60 means uh, sin uh, means opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite here? Root 3x by 2 by x by 2 and you simplify this one sorry x when you simplify this one then what you are getting root 3 by 2 that means sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 in the same way cos 60 ok we want uh, cot 60 cot 60 what is cot formula cot means uh, adjacent by opposite ok cot uh, cot 60, this is adjacent and this is opposite. Then we are taking x by 2 by root 3 x by 2. When you simplify this one, then what you are getting? 1 by root 3. Cot 60 value is 1 by root 3. In sim similarly, we can find cos 60, tan 60, secant 60, cosecant 60. And next, Next, trigonometric values of angle 45, angle 45 degrees, angle 45 degrees. Okay, for this one, we want to take a right angle, isosceles triangle, right angle, isosceles triangle. This is right angle, isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. Which two sides are equal means, okay, other than hypotenuse. Why we are taking other than hypotenuse means, Okay, in a right angle triangle, longest side is hypotenuse. Whenever it is the longest side, remaining two sides must be equal. If you, these two are equal, means these two longest sides will become, then it can't form a triangle. Then these two sides are equal. Okay, that means I am taking ABC is a right angle triangle and it is isosceles. Isosceles means here AB and AC are equal. That means this is X, this is also X. Okay, we want to find hypotenuse length. How we can find hypotenuse length means by using Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square. Directly can I write? Okay, we will write. BC square is equal to side square. X square plus X square. Then it will become BC square is equal to 2X square. Square will send to that side means square root. It will become square root of 2X square. And you simplify this one means BC is equal to root 2X will become root 2 x. Okay, once of the, whenever it is a right angle triangle, okay, one of the angle is 90 and other two angles are equal. Why? Because in isos isosceles triangle, base angles are equal. Okay, sum of three angles is equal to how much means? 180 degrees. Here one of the angle is 90 degrees and the remaining two angles are must be 90 degrees. Remaining two angles sum must be 90 degrees and both two are equal. That means it is 45 and it is also 45. Okay, we got it. Okay. From this triangle ABC, from this triangle ABC, we know angle it 45. We want sin 45 sin 45. You can take anything. Either this 45 or either you can take this 45. 
Okay, if you take this is of uh, angular uh, triangle 45, then it will become opposite, it will become adjacent, it will become hypotenuse. Okay, if it is a uh, 45, angular here 45, then this will become opposite, this will become adjacent, it will become hypotenuse. Sine 45, what is sine 45 means? Opposite, I am taking here it is the angle opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse means x by root 2 x. Then these two it will come cancel, then 1 by root 2. In the same way, I want a secant 45. Secant 45. What is secant formula? Hypotenuse by hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse by adjacent. Okay, angular here means hypotenuse is root 2 x. Adjacent is x. Then what we are getting? Root 2 x by x. x x cancel, we are getting root 2. In the same way, I want tan 45. Tan 45 means we know what is formula? Opposite by adjacent. What is opposite here? Tan 45, opposite is x and adjacent is x. If you take here also, opposite is x, adjacent is x. We can write x by x. x by x we can simplify means we are getting 1. That means uh, in the same way similarly cos 45, cot 45, cosecant 45 value we can find. Next, trigonometric ratios of values 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Okay, first we can discuss 0 degrees. 0 degrees. Okay. For this uh, 0 degrees under 90 degrees, we want little bit of imagination. What does that mean? Just here once of the... Okay. For example, if it is some break, the, the angle between these two rays is 0. The angle between these two rays is 0. Whenever the angle between these two rays is 0, then this ray is coincide with this ray. Okay. We can go with a triangle wave. Triangle wave. Triangle wave. What does that mean? For example, here it is a right angle triangle I am taking. Okay. Here, angle between these two sides is 0. Angle between these two sides is 0. Then what is happened? Then hypotenuse is coincide with adjacent side. Okay, whenever this is angle, it will become opposite, it will become adjacent, it will become hypotenuse. Once the angle between these two is 0, then hypotenuse is coincide with adjacent. That means uh, what we can say, hypotenuse is nothing but adjacent. Whenever angle is 0, whenever if angle is 0 degrees, then what we can say, hypotenuse is coincide with adjacent. Hypotenuse is coincide with adjacent means, hypotenuse is nothing but adjacent. Then what about opposite? Okay, whenever it is coincide with adjacent, opposite is nothing. Opposite is nothing means, opposite side is become 0. Opposite side is become 0. Now we can want, we want, here it is 0 degrees, so feel it as it is 0 degrees. Sin 0 degrees. Sin 0 degrees. What is sin 0 means? Opposite by hypotenuse. Just now we told, what is opposite? 0 by hypotenuse. What is 0 by anything means? 0. That means sin 0 is 0. In the same way, cos 0. Cos 0. What is cos 0 means? Adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse. Okay, once of the whenever angle is 0, hypotenuse and adjacent are equal. That means, uh, okay, numerator and denominator having same number. Nothing but equal means same number. Then, these two become cancelled. Then we are getting 1. Why? Because here once of the hypotenuse and adjacent are equal. That means numerator and denominator are same number. Then we can cancel. We can get 1. In the same way, tan 0. Tan 0 degree. Okay. So clearly we know we can write and rewrite as a, like this or we know sin 0 by cos 0. We can write sin 0 by cos 0 means 0 by 1, 0. Okay. Or we can write a opposite by 
adjacent. Opposite by adjacent. Opposite is 0 by adjacent. 0 by adjacent become 0. In the same way, card 0. Card 0. Card 0. What is card 0? Card 0 degrees. What is card 0 degrees means? Adjacent by opposite. What is adjacent means? Adjacent only. Opposite become 0. Okay. Any number by 0. Okay. Then we are getting not defined on here. ND means not defined. In the same way, secant 0 and cosecant 0. Now we want 90 degrees. Trigonometric ratios of 90 degrees. Ninety degrees, angle ninety. Degrees. Okay, once the okay. Here, whenever this angle become ninety degrees, this angle become ninety degrees. This ray coincide with y axis. Okay, nothing but just here once of the diagrammatically triangle. Can. Okay, once of the whenever this angle is ninety degrees, it is nothing but perpendicular. That means uh, once of the whenever this angle is ninety degrees, it is coincide with Opposite side. It is coincide with the opposite side. Whenever this angle is 90 degrees, it is coincide with the opposite side. Then what we can get? If an angle is equal to 90 degrees, whenever an angle is 90 degrees, then what is happened? Okay, hypotenuse is coincide with opposite. That means opposite is equal to hypotenuse. Opposite side is equal to hypotenuse. Then one, whenever these two are coincide, adjacent become zero. That means adjacent become adjacent is zero. Now in the same way, we want sine ninety. We want sine ninety degrees. What is sine ninety means? Opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite and hypotenuse? Both are equal. Whenever these two are equal, then these two become cancel. Then we are getting one. Sin 90 value is 1. The same way, cos 90. Cos 90 value means adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse, what is adjacent means? 0 by hypotenuse. 0 by hypotenuse is 0. In the same way, tan 90, cot 90, secant 90 and cosecant 90. What we learn before? That one we can write in tabla form. Okay, how we can write means? Sin 0, what, how much we are getting means 0. Okay, sin 30, how much we are getting means 1 by 2. Sin 45, how much we are getting means 1 by root 2. Okay, sin 60, how much we are getting means root 3 by 2. Okay, sin 90 value, how much we are getting means 1. Just we can remember this row. Just to become, we can remember this row. We can fill this remaining uh, all the rows. Okay, by using this one. How we can write means? Okay, in generally, cos 0 value, how much means? 1. Okay, you can do with that process. And how we can remember means? Just we can rewrite the reverse order of sin values. That means, okay, cos 0 value is nothing but sin 90 value. That is 1. Cos 30 value is nothing but sin 60 value. That is nothing but root 3 by 2. In the same way, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 and 0. In the same way, we want tan 0 value. We know trigonometric ratios. What is tan formula means? Sin by cos. Tan, tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. In the same way, tan 0 is equal to sin 0 by cos 0. Sin 0 is equal to 0. Cos 0 is equal to 1. 0 by 1 is equal to 0. 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2. That means 1 by root 3. In the same way, 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2. 1. Root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2. That is root 3. 1 by 0 is not defined. Okay. We want cot. Cot means cos by sine. Cos by sine. When you go with cos by sine or reverse order of tan we get it. Reverse order of tan means not defined. Root 3. 1. 1 by root 3. 0. Okay. Just we want cosecant. What is cosecant values? Cosecant 0 value, cosecant 30 value, cosecant 45 value, cosecant 60 value, cosecant 90 value. What is cosecant means? Reciprocal of sign only. Na. That means we want to write reciprocal of sign. What is cosecant 0 value means? Reciprocal of sign 0 value. 
reciprocal of 0 is the reciprocal of 0 is not defined next reciprocal of 1 by 2 is 2 reciprocal of 1 by root 2 is root 2 reciprocal of root 3 by 2 is 2 by root 3 reciprocal of 1 is 1 in the same way we want secant secant is nothing but reciprocal of cos we can write or reverse order of cosecant you can write reverse order of cosecant means 1 2 by root 3 root 2 2 not defined okay just here once of the how we can remember the first row okay when you remember the first row we can fill the remaining rows in the same way how we can remember the first row means just here this thing just simply this thing you can remember means we can get the first row okay what is that means just first we can write 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 divide each number with 4 0 by 4 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 4 by 4 apply square root apply square root square root of square root of square root of square root of and square root of simplify this one 0 by 4 is 0 square root of 0 value is 0 Okay, 1 by 4 we can't simplify, that means square root of a by b means square root of a by square root of b, square root of 1 value is 1, square root of 4 value is 2. Next, when you simplify this one, this is become 1 time and 2 times. Square root of 1 value is 1, square root of 2 we can't say anything, that means square root of 2 over. In the same way here, there is no cancellation, directly you can write, root 3 by square root of 4 means 2. Okay, 4 by 4 means 1, square root of 1 value is 1. Just see here once of the 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. This is nothing but first row of uh, trigonometric ratios of 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. Once of the sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2, sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Okay, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, sin 90 is 1. When you remember this row, then we can write all the rows on that. These are the examples, Science, first one, sin 60 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees into cos 60 degrees. We know the values of these values, sin 60 degrees, first one, sin 60 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees into cos 60 degrees. Okay, one of the sin 60 degrees, sin 60 degrees, once you can remember the table, okay root 3 by 2 sin 60 degrees root 3 by 2 into cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees also root 3 by 2 plus sin 30 degrees sin 30 degrees 1 by 2 into cos 60 degrees also 1 by 2 just you can remember the table you can get this values root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2 root 3 into root 3 3 2 into 2 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 means 1 by 4. When you add 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 means 4 by 4. 4 by 4 means 1. In the same way, once you can observe second one. This is first one. Observe second one. What is they are given? 2 tan square 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees. Okay. 2 tan square 45 degrees. That's just here once of the whenever square or cube or any positive power which will be there means what we can write means 2 into tan square 45 is nothing but tan 45 degrees whole square plus okay cos 30 degrees can be written as cos square 30 degrees can be written as cos 30 degrees whole square minus sin 60 degrees can be written as sin 60 degrees whole square. Okay. We know the table just you can remember the table tan 45 value is 1. Tan 45 value is 1. 2 into 1 square plus cos 30 value. Cos 30 value is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin 60 value. 
Positive value also. Root 3 by 2. Whole square. Just here once remember. 2 into 1 square means 1. Here it can be written as 3 by 4. Minus root 3 by 2 again whole square means 3 by 4. Minus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Cancel. 2 into 1. 2. That means our answer is 2. In the same way. Similarly we can write another example. Just here. We go with another example. If. Sin a minus b is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to cos a plus b. Okay. a and b are acute angles. Acute angles. And a greater than b. They are given, what is they are given? A sin of A minus B is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to cos of A plus B and A and B are acute angle A greater than B. Okay, how we can find these values? Just here once of the sin A minus B is equal to 1 by 2 they are given. Cos A plus B also 1 by 2 they are given. Just you can write sin A minus B is equal to 1 by 2. Okay, sin which angle is 1 by 2? That means sin 30 degrees is 1 by 2. We know sin uh, in the table sin 30 degrees only 1 by 2. That means sin a minus b is equal to 1 by 2. Sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. As compare these two, that means a minus b become 30 degrees. In the same way, just here once of the, this is equation 1, we can write next. Cos a plus b is equal to 1 by 2. Cos which angle is 1 by 2 means cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2. That means uh, cos A plus B is 1 by 2, cos 60 is 1 by 2. As comparing these two, A plus B become 60 degrees. Okay, this is equation 2. Okay, 1 and 2 we can solve. Solve 1 and 2 equations. Okay, that means uh, A plus B is equal to 60 degrees. A minus B is equal to 30 degrees. When you add these two, when you add these two, B, B cancel. That means 2A is equal to how much? 90 degrees. Then A is equal to 90 by 2. 90 by 2 means 45 degrees. We got it. A angle is 45 degrees. Just we can substitute in. Okay. Equation 2 or equation 1. From 2, I am right. From 2, okay, we know the angle A plus B is equal to 60 degrees. Angle A value is how much means 45 degrees plus B is equal to 60 degrees. Then B is equal to 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. Then B is equal to 15 degrees. Okay, we got it. A, A got no B values. Okay, 45 degrees and B, B is equal to 15 degrees. Just here on the sin a minus b is equal to 1 by 2, cos a plus b is equal to 1 by 2. We want to find a comma b values. Those two are acute angles. Thank you.